the optical or light microscope is the most common kind of microscope. Light waves passing through an object or specimen are bent to form an enlarged image. There may be one or two lenses used to accomplish this. A single lens microscope is a magnifying glass. It can be used to enlarge all kinds of objects from small insects to the patterns of lines in your fingerprint. A magnifying glass with a power of three makes things appear three times as large. Its power is written like this three times. A compound microscope is made up of at least two lenses arranged in a tube. The objective lens is close to the specimen being viewed. It will magnify the specimen just as a magnifying glass does. A second lens called the ocular or eyepiece is at the other end of the microscope tube. It is nearest your eye and will magnify the image from the objective lens even more. On the nose piece of a standard compound microscope are three objective lenses. Their powers are usually four times, ten times, and forty times. The eyepiece or ocular lens usually has a power of ten. Therefore, the resulting magnifications are forty times, one hundred times, and four hundred times. Magnifying power is calculated by multiplying the power of the objective lens by the power of the eyepiece. Here is a compound microscope with all its important parts labeled. The base supplies support for the microscope. Above the base is the stage. This is where the specimen is placed for viewing. The specimen, which is held on a glass slide, is centered over this round hole in the stage. Stage clips are used to hold the slide in place. The hole in the stage is designed to allow reflected light from the mirror beneath the stage to pass through the specimen and into the objective lens positioned above the stage. Some microscopes use an electric light under the stage instead of a mirror. Just below the stage is a disc or iris diaphragm that can be rotated to regulate the amount of light passing through the stage and specimen. The light goes through the specimen and into the objective lens where it is magnified. On the other side of the body tube is the eyepiece, which also magnifies the image. The body tube is supported above the stage by the arm. There are two adjustment knobs located on the arm. The coarse adjustment knob is used to lower and raise the tube rapidly. Because the nose piece and objective lenses are attached to the tube, they will move up and down as the coarse adjustment knob is turned. The fine adjustment knob is used to move the tube slightly and focus an image even more sharply once the coarse knob has been used and adjusted. The nose piece can be rotated so that you can select a desired magnification. When first adjusting the microscope for a new slide, always use the lowest power objective and start with the nose piece at its lowest setting. Then turn the coarse adjustment knob upward to move the objective away from the slide until the specimen comes into focus. Improve the focus using the fine adjustment knob. By starting at the lowest setting and focusing upward, you will not have to worry about breaking the slide by lowering the objective lens into it. Once the specimen is focused, you can change directly to higher magnifications without changing the focus. However, move the nose piece carefully so that the newly selected objective lens doesn't strike the slide. This could damage the lens and the specimen. 
When looking through the eyepiece, many people keep both eyes open to lessen eye strain.